So well, this is our first avocado from our tree. Some kind of insect got some damage there. The kids tried to knife it right there. So it's kind of ugly. It's a Mexican avocado, which is a little more cold hardy, supposedly. And they're supposed to be a little bit smaller than the store-bought avocados. <clears throat> and we've let it sit for like two days, three days. Gonna see if this little ugly thing <laughs> is any good. Right, so it come apart pretty easily. Look at that nice big seed. And I guess like the Mexican avocados have a huge seed and kind of a small flesh ratio here. Right, we probably normally wouldn't film this, but this is our first avocado we've ever had. And we've I've been trying for a long time to get avocados off and on. And me and Natalie have been trying for a couple of years and we had a Brogdon that got ate by what? Goats. Goats. All right, here we go. She got a little bit of salt on it. And these, you eat the skin and all the Mexican uh, green skin ones. Not bad at all. Is it the best one you ever had? Pretty darn good. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, that's good. Right, so this is my piece. Got a little salt on it. I, tr I tried a piece earlier without it. Mm. Wow, with the salt, it really makes it a good... Yeah. I don't know. It reminds me of eggs. Like scrambled eggs. Similar, yeah. I think the Mexican avocados have like the highest... like oil content or something so it probably makes it a little more tastier mm, wow with salt it's really good wow i never even thought about it just adding a little bit of salt pink salt on it yeah you want another bite nearly <clears throat> there's a little oh, yeah last bite wow that is so that is so different just with salt <clears throat> I could eat that and like some. I bet you could eat 10 of those avocados just in a, nothing else in it. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> like, mush them up. Mm -hmm. Garlic and salt and do it. Oh, what are the blue dirty agents? Ooh. Ooh. So one of the things I was comparing that avocado to when you put just a dash of salt on it, it's, it's scrambled eggs. That's what it reminds me of. That That is vegan scrambled eggs. And guess what goes with like fried eggs really well? Turmeric. It kicks, and like, you know, when I do duck eggs and stuff, I'm, I pretty much always use turmeric powder, a little bit of black pepper. So I put a little bit of turmeric powder on our last bite and it kind of gives it a fresh, fresher taste. Um, so yeah, I think I never would have thought of just adding salt to avocados, but put some turmeric on it, salt, maybe a little bit of cracked pepper, and it, that's a vegan egg for you.